Hi guys, this is Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Welcome to you all. In this video, I'm going to take a look at recording macros in Excel, uh, recording VBA in Microsoft Excel. This happened to be 2016, but this kind of functionality has been around a long, long time. What do we use macros for? We use macros to automate repetitive tasks. So, I've got a sample data table here. In fact, I've got several sample data tables. And what I do is I add sales figures. Yeah, for various countries and various categories of product that we sell let's say for example I do that on a weekly basis so I've got my heading here sales data for week commencing or whatever yeah for example so as I say I do that on a regular basis and at the moment I'm doing it rather to say the least laboriously very very manually indeed and I think oh, I wish there was a way I could do this so much quicker but well, we can do that with macros. What I'd like to achieve is a format something like this and apply that kind of format consistently across my various other unformatted worksheets for example. Yeah, so go from something like this to something like that. Now we don't know quite enough about Excel VBA at the moment to be able to do this completely from scratch and that's where recording does come in. It's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful learning tool. So I'm going to click the Developer tab. If, by the way, guys, you don't have the Developer tab displayed, click File, click Options, click Customize Ribbon, and do make sure that the Developer tick box is ticked or checked. Click OK. I can then, with the Developer tab, I can click the Record Macro button over here in the Code group on the left-hand side. So click Record Macro, type Apply Custom formats or of course whatever you choose to call it you're not actually allowed to have spaces in either range names in Excel or indeed here of course in macro names click or tab into the shortcut key box I'm gonna pop an uppercase a capital Z in there so ultimately I'll be able to run this particular macro nice quick shortcut key control shift and Z tab down a couple of times to the description box and here kind of free text as it were applies custom table format for example and click on OK and then I would go through the the various kind of formatting processes so let's say for example I'd like to widen column B so it looks something like that I'd like to widen these columns nice and consistent nice and neat nice and tidy I'd like to number format these cells I'll go back home click the number format dialog box launcher click number thousand separated click OK already starting to look a little bit neat a little bit tidy I've played around with the column widths I do like to have slightly or perhaps a bit more sometimes higher rows gives you uh, spreadsheets just a little bit more kind of breathing space um, as it were if you are playing around with the row heights I do think it really is a good idea once you've done so again select multiple columns, select multiple rows for consistency and then align middle looks neater, looks tidier what else I'm gonna perhaps center across selection here so all of course I'm doing is going through uh, manually at least at the moment yeah, a various set of formatting processes to apply certain formats to my spreadsheet and be able to do the same or something similar with these guys with these cells for example here so center across selection once again for example headings here they're going to be right aligned I'd like these headings this heading these cells with this heading all to be bold for example there's a particular color I'd like to apply I've got one of my recent colors here kind of a teal color that I've got there for example this kind of major heading that we've got there at the top this main heading is going to be a bit bigger this subheading as it were that I've got here various countries yeah not quite as big and then these headings 11 point size at the moment let's just pop them up to 12 point size for example I'm quite fond of my borders as well so what I'm going to do is to borders more borders and I'm going to use one of my recent colors, this kind of orange color that I've got here. I'm going to apply a double underline to the bottom of the selection and click OK. Something kind of similar here. Again, borders, more borders. Use a consistent kind of coloring for your borders. Just a single underline this time. There we go there. 
for the product category heading and the various EU countries that we've got there. Again, something very, very similar indeed to get some really nice consistency going. And I'll do that. I'll just do one more borders. You like using borders to kind of separate out sections of a spreadsheet. It can be quite effective, I think. Back to borders and more borders. Again, it's going to be that same orange color, but it's going to be over on the right side of the selection. Click OK, and then just click away. And that's the formatting that I'd like to achieve for any subsequent sales data tables. What I'm going to do, going back to the developer tab, I'm going to stop recording. So at any point in the future, week commencing, week commencing, further on down the line, I don't have to go through that terribly manual laborious process ever again. I just click into my table somewhere, in fact I don't even need to do that, and press Control Shift and Z, and there we go, it's done. And then it's the following week. Yeah, same product categories, assuming here, same various countries. I'll change my heading, week commencing, whatever. There's my unfun formatted table, control shift and Z. And there we go. That's it, done. And that's what recording macros is all about. Macros for automation of repetitive tasks. Uh, that's it for this particular video. Do search Optimum Technology Transfer Guys for um, other uh, videos that I've created and put here on YouTube. But as I say, that's it from me, Mark Davis at Optimum Technology Transfer. Take care and bye-bye.